My mother consults the dead. She she consults with her spiritual guides. She can actually take a glass of water, and in a glass of water, she will see your past. Barbara Arthur comes from a long line of spirit mediums. Even while she was still in the womb, her mother dedicated her to follow in the family tradition. It was a way of life, but it was very fearful. I remember that I was visited by a group of demons. I was awakened with my feet being held off the bed, and, a, and, and the presence of fear that filled my room, and this, and this demon was actually looking at me. And I turned my head to the right, and my room was full of demons, and they were to be my spiritual guide. When Barbara was four, she fled Cuba with her father and two younger siblings. They made their home in America. By the time she was in the sixth grade, the burden of running a household was too much for the young girl. Her teacher, a Christian, sympathized with her and explained that God loved her and sent his son Jesus to die for her sins. Jesus became very real to me, and I was in love with Jesus at 11. But because my friends were calling me a fanatic, I just stopped reading the Bible that my teacher gave me. When Barbara turned 13, the responsibilities at home became too much. I was tired of being mom, and I wanted out. And so I, the only way I knew without hurting my dad was to get married. So with her father's permission, she married when she was just 13 years old. She moved in with her new husband and his parents. Before long, she realized something was eerily familiar about their home. It was demonic. His mother and he were both very much involved in the occult. One evening, we got into a, an argument, and he started to call his spirits, if you will, and I felt them on the bed. I was 14 years old. He kept me imprisoned at home. He would not allow me to go to the store. He would not allow me to go outside. Barbara was 15 when she divorced her young husband and moved back in with her dad. She turned to the only place she knew for guidance, a medium in their neighborhood. She told me that I was going to have a child, and I became enamored with the idea of having a child. And so I allowed myself to get pregnant when I was 17. She married her boyfriend and had a baby girl. But Barbara's new husband was abusive, and in less than a year, she was divorced again. Barbara then married a third time to a man who was also abusive. So she left and once again looked to the occult for guidance and comfort. But when she ran out of money and couldn't pay the medium, she feared that the very power she sought for help would turn against her. Barbara thought back to her sixth grade teacher. She remembered how much she loved Jesus and decided he was her only hope. The next Sunday, she took her daughter to church. But I sat in the very last pew of that church and I cried out to God. I said, oh God, help me. I'm going to die. And he spoke to my heart. And he said, ask Jesus to come into your heart. And then he said, repent of your sins. And I said, forgive me for my sins. I felt like I lived my life in a black plastic bag and for the first time I could see the sunlight. And the joy was awesome. To make ends meet, Barbara started working as a model. Not long after that, her mother moved to the States. It was absolutely wonderful to see her, but she's a practicing medium. And she tells me that her gifting is a gift from God. As a new Christian, Barbara still didn't realize that witchcraft was wrong. It was at a Bible study one night that she learned the truth about her mom's beliefs. It woke me up. When I walked into my apartment, I cleaned house. Everything that my mother had given me for good luck or that this tarot card woman had uh, told me to purchase for good spirits to draw near, I put everything in a bag and I got rid of everything. She opened her Bible to Luke and read the story of the prodigal son. And the Lord reminded me that when I was in the sixth grade, I asked Jesus to come into my heart. But since my sister and my friends had persecuted me that I dropped him, and that day he revealed to me that he had never taken his hand or his eyes off of me, that he allowed me to reach the end of myself, that I would turn back to him. And he was waiting for me with open arms. And I wept and wept and wept at the revelation of the love of God. And I fell in love with his love. I fell in love with his love. And all I wanted was to know this awesome God that was working so awesome in my life. Once Barbara learned the truth about witchcraft, she studied the Bible voraciously. 
the danger of allowing these um, occult things in your life, whether it's a book or whether it's a movie or, or watching TV shows or computer games, whatever it is, is there's a fascination with the supernatural. And it, it opens the door to the enemy. And God has commanded us. It's not a suggestion. He's commanded us not to have anything to do with that because he wants to protect us. Today, Barbara is married, this time to a Christian man. I'm just extremely grateful for that, that he took someone like me and that he's brought me to a place where he calls me the daughter of the King Most High. And I know him, I walk with him, that I can know the God that has created the whole universe. It does not get better than that.